do my sweet friends welcome back or welcome if you're new I hope you're all well as intrigued as I am by the notion of a folded one sheet wonder for mini scrapbooks and folios I am very aware that due to the pattern placement it's not always possible so today my plan is to share a pocket folio inspired by that technique but designed to allow for all double-sided pattern papers. I'm also gonna combine them to make it more full and a more sturdy book. See, I have my pockets here and inserts have large pages for those bigger pictures. And then because we have these joined, it's a nicer, thicker book. So if that sounds good to you, then stick around and we'll make it together. I've got the C. La v collection here, and this is from P13. I picked it up from scrapbook.com, and it's an absolutely beautiful, nautical-inspired collection, although I would say it's fairly updated, and so it's more of a classic look than a themey look, and I think that makes it perfect for loads of different summer-inspired projects. I will also mention that the paper quality is very nice, and so this is going to result in a much thicker, sturdier, and bulkier folio. Now you could use double-sided papers that are thinner and it will work perfectly well, but it won't be quite as chunky and nice. So I really appreciate the quality of the paper for this collection. So we have two different sizes of cardstock here going in to those pocket pages and they're both going to be six inches high. Now the first one I have starts at 12 inches wide and we're gonna come in and score it. Now I want this to be the pattern that shows on the outside so I'll just flip that over and I'll line that up right across my scoreboard. The first score that I wanna make is at four and three quarter. And remember I said this is good quality paper. So take a couple of passes to make sure that you've got a good crease established. And then the next score is going to be at nine and three quarter. For the second piece, remember it's still six inches high, but now it is nine and three quarters. So I'm going to have only one score line here at four and three quarter. Because I wanted to have larger pockets, I do have to combine these so that I have the width that I need. Now I don't need my scoreboard. But I will hang on to my score tool so that I can reinforce those creases. And so I'm just going to fold that over and you see I have a quarter of an inch gap here and that is by design. So I would just reinforce that crease there to make sure that you've got it well folded. And remember our first one has two scores so you'll get that shorter one. And this will be on the front. And then the smaller piece is going to wind up being where you connect these two pieces together. I have cut myself a template now of heavy duty cardstock so that I can use it over and over again. And this is going to be the shape of our pocket. So I'm starting with a piece that is six high by four and three quarter wide. That will be the size of the front portion of our pocket. I measured in one inch from the side and one inch from the bottom, and then I connected those with a line and cut off the excess. So now I have a template I can use, and you don't have to be exactly precise with this because you don't have to worry about your matting layers. So I'll just hold that in place and I'll clip off the excess. So this is going to be the front of our pocket. And then for the second piece, of course, I want to flip that over so that I've got that angle going in the other direction. And so I'll just hold that in place again and cut that out. Okay. 
Now, if you want to consider these as additional pockets for the inside, you could do that. I'm choosing to leave mine just plain so that I have room for larger pictures, but you can reserve those for later use. So now what I want to do is come in here and add my two glue combo. This is the place where we're going to join those together. And so I want this to be a good and sturdy connection. So that's our double-sided adhesive, and here is our Tombow. I think I would also like to try some art glitter glue. I know a lot of people who use that and enjoy it. So if you have tried it and like it, let me know in the comments because I'm trying to experiment with some different combinations of my adhesives so that I have a very well-secured uh, folio here. Now, it is easiest, I think, to bring that up so that you can place the edge of your second piece right next to that score line. That way you'll know you've got it in. Precisely in the right place. Now that double sided adhesive will hold that in place while that glue sets up so you can continue to work along. Now see how nicely that folds up. The next step we want to do is seal the bottom of these pockets. Now we're going to go right to our Tombow for this because once again we do want that to be very secured and I am only going to bring my adhesive along the bottom and that will give us the most amount of room inside that we can so that we can have larger inserts. Now I'm going to add that close to but not right along the bottom edge so that it doesn't squeeze out and make a mess. And so then I will just fold that over and apply pressure for the amount of time it takes for that glue to set up. If you have some clips that would work great, then you can just place those on and continue to work. But I'll just hold that and then I'll meet you back here when I'm ready to glue the other side. We'll just repeat that process for here. Definitely want to allow this glue to dry very well before you add any inserts to that pocket so that they don't inadvertently get stuck into glue that is not set up yet. And this is going to be one of the pocket fold sections. I have another one prepared here and I just chose another one of those beautiful patterns and because I did not fold it over from the top I am able to use the more directional patterns you see that fish would be upside down and the boats would be also I want to combine these now to make a more full folio with additional pockets and so I have a piece that is cut to be six high by 10 wide and scored at five. Now I've taken the double-sided adhesive backing off of one side and I'll add my Tombow. This is another two glue section. Definitely think this would be great for a craft fair or for a group craft. Um, even something you could cut out and allow some other people to assemble so it would be fun for a craft night. Now I want to bring these pieces together and so I'll just work from the very corner making sure that everything is straight and even going across the side and the bottom. You know I'll pull the backing off of this side 
And I think this would also be very sweet for a holiday project. You could definitely go through some of your stash creating little folios for the holiday season. I'm just making sure that my pockets are going to be going in the right orientation. And so I'll just bring those corners together just the same way as the first one. So we've got our connector here now. And as I mentioned before, you could reserve those portions that you cut off to create some additional pockets. But I wanted to have some larger pages for the bigger pictures. So I'll just reserve those for a different project. So now we have the two pocket pages here, the connector, and then another two pockets for this side. And I do want to include some pretty ribbon to tie this up. So I just have enough to tie a generous size bow. I think when you start adding things to those pockets, you could get a little bit of a wedge shape. So make sure that you're leaving enough room to allow for that additional bulk. Now, I do like a wedge, and so I think that that will be absolutely beautiful and very fun when it's all filled up with your pictures and memories. And there was room in those pockets for the inserts that we're going to add that we're going to add along with other flat keepsakes or mementos. So now I want to sort of neutralize a little bit of that background. And so I have a piece cut here of a wood grain in a blue. And that is from the same collection. And I'm adding that with some foam tape behind it so that we can have a little bit of dimension here. And that will also help to sandwich our trim between this layer and the base. Got a beautiful die cut doily. Add that as well. You can imagine how busy that might look if I added that doily to that very busy background. And so I think that helps to differentiate the layers. So I've taken one of those image cut aparts that came with the collection and used a circle die to cut that along with a border of blue just to pop out that layer a little more. And I put some spacers behind that layer as well. So we're really building up a lot of nice dimension. I have created a floral arrangement here and I just picked the do and I just picked that dark blue color that is already in the picture. So I knew it would coordinate. I've got a couple of handmade flowers here along with die cut foliage, netting, twine. And then more of that beautiful blue ribbon. That is a smoke blue taffeta from a really reasonable ribbon. And I'm just going to add that so that it anchors the bottom of this sort of collection of layers making sure to keep all the fragile bits within the cover there so they don't stick out. Now I did mention that I wanted to add some inserts and I have cut these from more of that blue wood grain. And so these are cut to be five and a half by four and a quarter and that will fit perfectly in those pockets and then I've also rounded the corners just for a little bit of added detail and I think you could easily write on this if you are going to add journaling to it and then a picture or add additional items to your pockets so let's fill these up and I kind of wanted a consistent look so I cut these all from the same pattern but you could mix and match especially if you're trying to get through a collection you could just use it up what you have and make room for something new so now we have four inserts in four pockets and then we have our cover to finish. So let's add a little charm here. Got a little ship wheel. And so I'll add that with some string. Lay that into some hot glue. Click the excess. 
and cover those cut strings with a button. I'll utilize my Tombow again to adhere these sequins. And that's going to be it for today. And I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Remember, you can find links in the description. And as always, I'm wishing you a happy and productive day. And I thank you so much for watching. Bye.